Street, Florida, help me welcome the next fighters to the cage. First, Martin Hamlet. Martin Ham was a seven-time national champion in Norway in Greco-Roman wrestling. That's one of the two Olympic styles, and in my opinion, the style of wrestling that translates the best to cage fighting and mixed martial arts. Much more of an upright posture with the cage and a barrier and the clinch fighting and in fighting. Those are all skills and places. He's very used to being chest to chest with his opponents at the Olympic level. In incredible physical strength from this young man. And that, look, that will be a story at 205 pounds anytime light heavyweights get in there. But what are we talking about? Well, he finished an arm triangle choke from the guard of Dan Spahn, who is a very tough veteran in this sport. He has that rare ability to just squeeze the life out of you. Will he put it on display tonight? Going to be tough to do so against someone with the grappling acumen of Antonio Carlos Jr. You saw that in Norway, professional mixed martial arts is illegal. But guess what? Watching it is not. It's 1.15 AM in Tunsberg, Norway. But the Martin Hamlet watch party hopefully gets a little more live. Let's be honest. You want to talk about the Bushido and Japanese culture? How about the warrior spirit in Viking culture? It's a, a real thing. How about the history lesson? Tunsberg, the oldest city, there oldest you go. Viking city. I, like I love it. it. And his opponent, Antonio Carlos Jr. There is the former Jiu Jitsu world champion, trains over at the MMA powerhouse American top team here in South Florida. A guy who has fought at heavyweight, he's fought at middleweight, but feels most comfortable at 205 pounds. And man, we have seen a completely new Antonio Carlos Jr. this season. Huge improvements in his wrestling and his striking, but more than anything else, his ability to put it all together. And you can see it in the way he competes and the confidence on his face. And it's worth stating that his home gym, American Top Team, already took home a belt and a million dollar check tonight. So Antonio Carlos Jr. will look to follow his countryman, Fauci Manfio, into the champion circle. There's Junior Dos Santos, friend and training partner of Antonio Carlos Jr., the man they call Shoe Face. As we take a look at our tale of the tape. Antonio Carlos Jr., older, taller, longer arms, but it's Martin Hamlet with the slight advantage on the leg reach. Lillian Garcia. Sets the stage. 24 nations have been represented here in the 2021 season of the Professional Fighters League. And now, this championship fight is in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler. Standing at 6'1", he officially weighs in at 205 pounds. In 10 professional bouts, he has a record of eight wins and two losses with six victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Tunsberg, Norway, here is your number three seed, Martin the Dark Horse Hamlet. His opponent fighting out of the red corner, he is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 204 and one half pounds. In 19 professional bouts, he has a record of 12 wins, five losses, and two no contests, with nine victories by submission. Fighting out of João Pessoa, Brazil, here is the number one seed, shoe face, Antonio Carlos Jr. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson equipped with the ref cam. Antonio Carlos Jr., the Brazilian in the gold trunks. Martin Hamlet, the Norwegian in the black and gray. Five five-minute rounds of light heavyweight action for a belt and $1 million. 
Experience versus promise potentially in this one. Antonio Carlos Jr. almost three times the number of fights in Martin Hamlet and his pro record. Hamlet said he's gonna go easy on the wrestling in the first round or so, kinda ease into it. Feels like he may have gotten a little carried away in some of those fights which caused him to fatigue in, in some of the later rounds. He doesn't want that to happen in a five round championship fight. Yeah, I think he also doesn't want to give Antonio Carlos Jr. a lot of time on the ground to set up one of those submissions. He needs to be very careful in his approach, but he looks absolutely massive out there against Shoeface. Nice low kick there after a couple of jabs from Antonio Carlos Jr., who then moves out of range of the high kick response from Martin Hamlin. We make a big deal out of Antonio Carlos Jr.'s grappling accolades, Kenny, but to get here, he had to beat the season two champion, Emiliano Sordi, and there was a lot of striking in that bout, and he accounted very well for himself. Yeah, absolutely, really proved himself as a true mixed martial artist in that fight. Oh, oh big look. left hand there by Hamlet. And now Hamlet rushing in after he got Antonio Carlos Jr. off balance. Well, Shoeface has to be real careful with that jab. He's kind of a little bit lazy with it, kind of drops his hand after he throws that flick jab, which allows for a counter shot. And that's kind of what happened with that left hand. Hamlet looking to score big on the exit there. Antonio Carlos Jr. was able to avoid a couple of punches. And now Shoeface is pressing. Got Hamlet circling around the edge. That right hand snuck through. And a jab. I think Hamlet thought he hurt, he hurt Carlos Jr. And, and rushed in the way he did. And that, I think that's a, an indication of his inexperience a little bit. Randy, we talk about his relative lack of experience in MMA, but as you pointed out, he's a seven-time national champion in Norway, Olympic program, Greco-Roman. It's not MMA, but it is high-level competition. How much value does that experience have? Oh, I think you have to count that. He's been in pressure situations with a lot on the line many, many times. So it absolutely counts in, in his competitive experience for sure. This is the second of six world title bouts tonight in the biggest night in mixed martial arts. Still to come on ESPN2, Clarissa Shields, and of course, Ray Cooper III, Magomed Magomed Karamov, Kayla Harrison, versus Taylor Gardado. Four more title bouts after this one tonight. Nice combination. Oh, nice double leg. Good set up there from Antonio Carlos Jr. Oh. Right onto the back of Martin Hamlet. Closing in on 90 seconds left here in the first round. And the Norwegian finds himself in a very unfortunate position with Shoeface on his back. Oh, this is not a good position. Antonio Carlos Jr. now at that body triangle. Hamlet just stands up. He's got to carry Shoeface's weight. Oh! And there, after the spin, he's got the choke in! Martin That's Hamlet it. taps out! That's it! Antonio Carlos Jr. will make a choke for a championship at $1 million! You can't make one mistake! against Shoeface. That we talked about his ability to put it all together, actually setting up a takedown with his strikes, hitting that double leg transition right to the back. A beautiful display of mixed martial arts skill there from Antonio Carlos Jr. Wow. And just like that, Antonio Carlos Jr. claims the biggest victory of his mixed martial arts career. Amazing performance by Antonio Carlos Jr. Here he's gonna set up that nice straight right hand. Comes right down the pipe. Lands flush on Hamlet's face. Hamlet returns with the hook. Here's with the body triangle on, trying to find a way to get those hands, soften him up and get those hands around the neck. 
Hamlet trying to swing him around. No luck. Exposes his neck, and it's cinched on tight just like that. And that's the problem with that body triangle. You can spin all you want, but that man is not going to go anywhere with that control around the hips. And as he did it, he lifted up his chin, and Antonio Carlos Jr. wasn't going to let that go by. Slid that arm underneath the neck. And this is the signature move of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What a win there. Shoe face playing to the fans who were already chanting his name. He's a very popular figure at the home gym here. You see the corner celebrating. Fancy dinner for everybody. There's our Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Got it done early. It only took the one takedown. Antonio Carlos Jr. set it up perfectly, gets under, and takes this championship out into his world. PFL's exclusive fighter performance rating is sponsored by Rich Energy. And Randy, for the uninitiated, how do you score 100 out of 100 in FPR? Gotta have a finish. And that's exactly what Antonio Carlos Jr. got. Lillian Garcia makes it official. Fight fans, the stoppage comes officially. At three minutes and 49 seconds of round number one, submission by rear naked choke. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 PFL Light Heavyweight World Champion, shoe face Antonio Carlos Jr. PFL president of fighter operations with the belt presentation. The belt is nice, Shoeface, but you forgot to collect something else back here. That also belongs to you. PFL CEO Pete Murray, the man who signs the checks, so to speak. <laughs> Antonio Carlos Jr., season three PFL light heavyweight champion. How do you like that? Man, feeling awesome. You know, like I could feel the energy of the crowd. Everybody, my friends, you know, my team is all here. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here, rooting for me. And it feels awesome, man. I always knew I would hold some belt. And holding this belt now is like, it's incredible. I want to talk about the way you got this done. Martin Hamlet is a phenomenal wrestler. You set up the takedown perfectly with strikes. You duck right under, you get him down. Was that the game plan the whole way? Yeah, for sure. As I said before the fight, we need to mix it up together, you know, like putting everything together, use every aspect of the fight. You know, use the takedowns in the right moment, jiu in the right moment, and strike in the right moment. So that's what I did. And I think I did very well, so that's why I got this belt. <laughs> well, you certainly did it very well. We're gonna try and get a replay here. Let's get a look. Against Antonio Carlos Jr., you cannot make one mistake in the grappling exchange. Okay, there's the takedown here. Let's turn around and watch this thing. Okay, I want you to walk me through. That's a great takedown. You hit that, and immediately you jump to the back. You get the body lock. Did you know what his defense would be from here? Uh, yeah, this is my, my best position, actually. You know, I love to be uh, on the back control. Once I'm there, it's pretty hard to escape, so... Uh, I just wait for the right moment. Once he got up, I felt his neck a little open so I can pass through my arms and get the submission. He tries to spin out of it here, I guess to try and break the body lock. And right then, you slapped this choke on. Did you know it was in? Yeah, for sure. That's why I didn't let it go. Uh, and I couldn't, I, I could get it, the submission. That's the best, man. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> A first round rear naked choke submission victory. There's your boy JDS celebrating. Hugs all around. Antonio Carlos Jr., light heavyweight champion. Congratulations. Thank you so much, brother. I'm a millionaire like you now. <laughs>